I'm hearing from Republicans, from Democrats, from the Jersey Chamber of Commerce, small businesses, everybody's saying this is going to be, this is an assault on New Jersey, another nail in our coffin. We can't afford this attack on Jersey, and the fact that they're eliminating the state and local tax deduction and doing this whole thing on our backs is completely unacceptable. Have you, have you done any estimates, done any analysis, what percentage of the people living in New Jersey now deduct their state and local taxes, and, and once all the changes go into effect, how many of your constituents would be affected? What percentage? So it's about 60% currently. It's, it's, we, it goes down a little bit given the standard deduction, but not much. We know that a cop and a teacher in Paramus, New Jersey, will go, their taxes will go up $5,000 uh, in the first few years and to $5,500. That's a, a couple living together in Paramus, New Jersey. That's how big of an impact yeah. this is going to have on people. Congressman Gottheimer, uh, it's Brian Sullivan here. Listen, I'm a New Jersey resident, as is hey, Tyler. Here's the thing. We're going to bring Larry in just one second here. But I, I, I want to continue on this because I had this discussion with a friend of mine who owns a big real estate company. And his other concern was not only the stuff you and I have talked about just now with Michelle, but also a lot of people's home values, home values. haven't been reassessed in a number of years. Yep. And nobody's going to have any idea how to assess the homes because they don't know what the actual impact will be. And there's a fear that if they're overdone on the assessment down, you could suddenly see a lot of people who are now again underwater on their mortgage. But what can you do about it? By the way, this is the point you're raising to me is something that people are calling our office off the hook on because you've got, they think property values will go down somewhere between 15 and 20%. It also resets what you suddenly can afford every year. You know, if you, if you're bringing in less and have less at the end of the year and your property taxes, you can't deduct them or you can't uh, deduct your state income tax. Well, like well this they should proposes. go down if your assessment is lower, right? No, but you still have the same obligations. And every town still has the same Michelle, obligations. Let me so that's not, actually not, not the way it works. We're talking not about Not to personalize okay. this, but but I have just gone through a revaluation in my town. Prices have been going up, 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 up. They are mm. going to be revaled at the peak, and that's the tax rate that I'm going to pay. If there is a reduction in the value of my home, I'm going to be paying at that higher rate. Well, you're going to get ten thousand. Wait a second. You, you're going to get a huge. That helps. You're going to get a huge uh, housing mortgage deduction. Let's just say that. Uh, last I heard, I know it's moving around. You're going to get up to a million dollars. All right. If you have a loan of a million dollars, you can deduct right. all right. the interest With off the grandfathered right. home. Okay. That's, so that's that's, that's, that's very that's very. That's a significant. home that you already own, Basically not a new purchase. That's, that's well, from, that's well, the that, same as it is now, Larry. Well, good. Okay, but, that's, no, but that's only with, that's with new purchases, I believe. Anymore. That's with homes well, we, you already no, own. No, we don't, so no one will move. We don't know that yet. We don't know that about the uh, defining we, the details. We, we know that but people Josh, are going to leave. Josh, leave our I state agree. Businesses Listen, are going to leave. All right, listen, that's Josh, we know. I, I'm sympathetic to this. Um, I'm from the metropolitan area. A lot of good Republican friends of mine, you know these guys, John Thasso, yeah. Pete King, and so forth, Lee Zeldin, they're up in arms. I get that, okay, I get that. But I just want to add a couple things here um, with the greatest respect. You're a high-tax state. You're a very high tax state. Um, I just looked up at the uh, at the ratings. Uh, New Jersey is uh, in total 50 out of 50 estates. Property taxes 50 out of 50 states. Individual taxes 48 yeah, out, out of 50 control. States. Out of control. So you know, got to be cut. And right. And I was interested after the Senate bill passed. Um, your uh, let's see this these president of the New Jersey State Senate, if I have that right, uh, Mr. Sweeney. You know, he made a very important point. He said, you know what? Because we lose this deduction or lose part of this deduction, we're going to have to stop raising taxes. Yes, in New I Jersey. agree with that. And 100 percent agree. We've got to cut taxes. All right, yes. good. We're on the same page then. <laughs> yeah. This could have been done more elegantly uh, if we had lowered, much more lowered the personal tax rates, which is really true tax reform. So even middle income people get a three percentage point reduction. That's not a lot. I would have rather done it the 1986 way. But listen, help comes to those who help themselves, Congressman. Jersey could really help itself. In other words, well, he's saying New Jersey should cut taxes, and therefore you're we, not going to have as many I people mean, move. You don't have anybody who's more sympathetic to cutting taxes. I think taxes are too high. That's the whole point. The problem is this is actually a tax hike on New Jersey. And my other problem, to your point about Jersey versus other states, for every dollar we send to the federal government in Jersey, and you guys should appreciate this, we get back 33 cents in my district for roads, bridges, and the like. You look at Mississippi, they get back $4.38. So no, you've got I, a bunch of moocher states out there that are already taken from us, and now they're trying to pile this on our backs, I, I too, get that. and increase our costs. I, I, hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.